guys, welcome back. It's your boy Gad. I'm slaying. How you guys doing? Uh, welcome back on that video. Please try as much as possible, guys, as usual, to support your boy. Like this video, comment, share to all social platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink. Make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. Meanwhile, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. Firstly, guys, am I allowed to call this man a fake pastor? We need your money to come on my altar so that my altar will touch you. The only way the grace functioning in me will work for you is that you come and bribe my angels because the more money in my hand the faster i reach the assignment they gave to me so the easier you make the assignment the faster they work for you there's no juju in it if you don't know how to provoke me my god that guy's and like i've asked before i'm not allowed to call that man a fake pastor and people see sit down listening to him i know one of our major problem in nigeria in africa as a whole one of our major problems is religion we are so carried away with religion not knowing exactly what is right from wrong a man of god a self-claimed man of god well a self-claimed man of god openly begging for money with the audacity along with it well guys are uh, Kindly leave your comment below. And uh, this next one, this one actually happened in Ghana. A lawmaker is trying to uh, sponsor a bill that this bill entirely is to punish people committing adultery. He said, majority of Ghana's Ghanaians are, are Christians. They believe in upholding Christian values. Adultery is a serious sin punishable by death. I am therefore proposing a petition to the parliament for a private member bill for a law against adultery, imposing sweet penalties. Ghana, I don't understand you now. Okay, uh, to all my Ghanaians follower here, do you support that bill? that uh, they should have a law to punish people who commit adultery. What about fornication? I, I don't know. What about fornication, guys? Because uh, sex before marriage is bad, and also when you are married, having sex with another person is also bad. So uh, do you support that? Well, I wouldn't want to even read any comments below it because a lot of people actually don't support it at all. And uh, meanwhile, guys, I want to talk about this particular stuff. It didn't happen in Nigeria. It actually happened to a man in America. So a popular surgeon recently went to court to divorce his wife, his beauty queen wife. It's quite popular. His beauty queen wife simply because he discovered after their after marriage, or they are all married, living together. He discovered that his wife was a former prostitute. His wife, before they married, was a former Ashawo woman. That is to say, before they married, while they were courting, or before he even met her, the woman was into prostitution. So the, the question is now, is he okay? Do any man out there demand to know what, or do any woman out there demand to know what their partner used to do before their marriage? Like we see men are shower as well, we see women are shower as well. So will you want your wife or your husband, your wife to be or your husband to be to tell you exactly the kind of job, the kind of lifestyle? they were doing before you guys married and if you find out that your husband was an asha woman or your wife was an asha woman will you still continue with the marriage please guys uh kindly leave your comment below because that's exactly what this man is doing this this man is going to court to divorce his ex beauty queen wife because he found out that 
his wife was formerly a prostitute who collect money like high-end prostitution or not just low some according to the document in five some clients we used to pay him two thousand dollars amounting to hundred thousand dollars in fact our savings then the money he he saw that is our client sent her we are amounting to close to seven hundred thousand dollars from different men well kindly your comment below guys and uh let me know then check out what this uh a filmmaker wrote her name is uh biodo stephen she said after all these numbers of film i still no feed by range rover kai this life no balance at all well mommy i think is because you are not doing uh doing some uh, endorsement deal or seeking another source of income apart from what you are doing like apart from the music production and everything because one of all those reasons nollywood actresses nowadays will tell you how they get their extra income to buy this fancy uh fancy house fancy cars and to of course for uh, to fund their fancy lifestyle they will tell you they have a dozen deals they have uh people are sponsoring like uh they have uh contracts sponsorships but they never say that uh, they have one sugar daddy out there or one man who is sponsoring them or those kind of stuff so usually now let me tell you what is sugar daddy they invest in music industry they invest in music industry in a way that they don't want to hack and see if they are directly sponsoring this these fine fine guests out there just to get them to bed them so they're kind of like going to music industry uh, uh finance any kind of movie knowing that they won't get any gain so but they will request for particular artists some for some particular women or a lady to be the lead in that movie simply because you know you want to get one or two things from that girl well mama go out there and walk a little bit more and uh let's talk about Obi Kubana Jaroma of course you know the popular Kayamata seller Jaroma said that uh, Obi Kubana has a spiritual backing either from his wife or from his from himself a gay side chicks who may want to use Kayamata on him well let me listen to the queen of uh Kayamata herself so all the girls that want Obi Kubana huh you want to date Obi Kubana the billionaire Obi Kubana you want him to be yours you want him to be your sugar daddy do you seriously think Obi Kubana doesn't have spiritual protection I've been telling you guys this for more than 10 years rich people like obi kubana billionaires like obi kubana they have spiritual protection you can't just go and take obi kubana and just make him yours just like that you think he's just sitting around waiting for you to use jarama products on him huh he's waiting for you to get jarama products and take take him away no obi kubana has spiritual protection they all do i've been telling you guys this for how many years now all rich billionaires have spiritual protection so if you want to penetrate them you have to break the protection you know the spiritual protection and also they're wise you know they're doing things to be like oh god please okay uh well if they have spiritual protection then what is your advice to these girls how do they break such spiritual protection that they that they have uh can you kindly give them advice i think the only spiritual protection like anything a, any lady can use to get any man nowadays any rich billionaire who is promiscuous in nature simply it's just simple have a good punani and also be beautiful i think that's all you just need and uh don't forget if one woman one lady out there is using kayamata on one particular billionaire just know that you will be fighting a, a, a serious battle with other 10 women also using kayamata on the same man 
So even if you are trying to use Kayamata on that billionaire, so you have to still fight other 10 women who are also using Kayamata. And uh, it's quite surprising. Ladies, ladies, eh? do patronize this kind of stuff. They buy it. That's what makes people like Jeroma millionaires. You see how boring and what product does she sell? Kayamata. And who, who, who usually patronize her? Women. And every day we come out here criticizing, criticizing. The more you criticize her, the more people gain the attention, attention of this woman, and of course, buy more products from her. A lot of people use this thing. Hey guys, uh, here is what Obi Kubana wrote. He said, I was born the fourth child in a family of five. I am the last of the males, two guys and two babies. Sir Chooks is the first and E.K. Kubana is the third and my immediate elder brother. Where you see the last boy, the last boy, and I could be the billionaire in the family. It's usually like that. It's usually like that. And uh, I do not think, you know, in the family, you see some people are really, really blessed, while some people don't really, really have that much. It's not as if they are useless, so it's not as if they are wayward, or it's as if uh, they cannot amount to nothing. It's just that blessings are different, favors are different and human beings are different i see i see the reason why i'm bringing this up is because there might be someone out there who is the elder brother in a family or an elder sister and uh, she sees her younger sister doing well or he see his younger brother doing well and uh, he's kind of jealous man there's no need to be jealous about anything my guy just try your own way in fact support your brother so that you guys can become great together. Don't be jealous. No. God gives favors to whomever you wish. You cannot stop it. You can't stop it. So pray if God decided not to give you that same favor. It's left for God. Strive on your own and do the little you can. And you will assist that your brother. So don't be jealous of anything. And you will see someone like David do. All his father's children, David was the only one that could break out of his father's wealth and uh, is able to get his own, accumulating his own wealth by himself. And other people as well that you can just get example from. And they do his brother hate him. No, you can see the love between them. You understand? So don't kill yourself. And uh, moving forward, this one is coming from actress Georgina. I actually love what she wrote. She said, never hand over the pen that writes your story to anyone. Only you can write your autobiography. The most of all choose not to display our professional lives on social media doesn't mean we are jobless. It simply means certain things should remain private as it is. Some of us sleeps as our money works for us. Some of us have staff doing the job and some of us just figure out how to work smart and live life. If you are living off a man's hard-earned money, I don't appreciate you give false narrative of how hard you work, let alone becoming a motivational speaker when in actual sense you don't know how to manipulate multiply a dollar stop it take pride in eating money you did you did not work for and give credit where it is due until you put on those big girls pants just crawl back into trophy and borrowed life and let hard-working people breathe and appreciate their self-made life do you guys clearly understand what she said you see a lot of guests, motivational speakers out there. They come online, making life hard for people who are hard working. 
and then they start saying oh i bought this i bought that oh thank god glory to god is hard work man if it's a man who is sponsoring you good and fine nobody is battling you for that nobody is fighting you over that but what we are fighting you over with is the false narrative you are bringing out you are making other people think that it's based on hard work it's good though it's hard work but that false narrative you are bringing out and other people are doing similar thing you are doing and because they are not going out there to give themselves to men then it becomes a then if you are doing it and you are making it seems like oh is that the same hard work it makes it really, really hard on the other person so enjoy your sugar daddy money in peace and keep your mouth shut do not become a motivational speaker overnight writing this and writing that and making life hard for the other person please don't rub it on our face that you are working meanwhile you are out there doing all those certain kind of stuff and uh again let's talk about baba igesha in a case with uh versus not princess though not comedian princess versus uh princess foster daughter you know they are currently in court battling it out when there's something princess said in court yesterday and uh, she revealed another thing she said the CCTV man Mr. Brown set up the CCTV in the house he owns a, su uh, a supervising company I don't know the name I only know Mr. Brown I don't know the make of the CCTV camera use. Immediately I moved to the house, my landlord advised me to put CCTV in the house. After asking for the price, I felt it was too high. Then on Monday, 19 April 2021, invited Baba Jesha to my house for a script conference, which he did. Unknown to him, there was CCTV planted in my house. When Princess was housed, why she left the foster daughter with Baba Jesha despite prior allegations, she said, The initial plan was to confront him, but in the process, I knew it could get violent. The installation was to capture if the scene would get violent. I did not believe he, Baba Jesha, would repeat the same functions now that she is grown. That means, uh, uh Baba Jesha, she's still insisting that Baba Jesha used to molest her while she was young. And I see people like I've said before, people complaining that he, he was a setup. Even if that set up, or even if that set up, a criminal is a criminal. A criminal is a criminal. I don't see how she's gonna go like how Baba Jesha will succeed in this. And also, apart from that, uh, Blessing said, apart from Baba Jesha, a neighbor and a security guard also harassed by 14 years old foster daughter. Princess is telling the court. And I think she should keep her mouth shut about that, but she already told the court. So it was reported that really let our defense counsel mr may ogula made the allegation on tuesday during the trial of baba jesha over six count of defilement at the keja special offense court while cross-examining princess he said that the 14 years old girl was molested by mr damola princess labor and one man known simply as okili Princess security guard. When Princess was asked who Adikola was, she described him as a neighbor and she also regarded as a brother. Nice. There are so many other revelations going on and if you want to keep tab on the issue, you know where to go. Well guys, at the end of this video, I want to have this question. If two lesbians are dating or two gays are dating, who is to pay the bills? Two girls dating each other, two boys dating each other. Who is to pay the bills in the relationship? Kindly leave your comment below, guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, the Adam Slink. Stay tuned and watch out for my next video. Don't go anywhere. Peace.